Hard to believe, but Prince William and Kate celebrate their 10th anniversary later this month. A decade later, her bridal style is still having an impact. Wedding expert Allison McGill joins us with more. Good morning. And I, as I was going over that footage the other day, I thought, wow, it's still stylish. Very stylish and hard to believe it was a decade ago. I know. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and it's great to celebrate um, a wedding, a large wedding, and, and a royal one. So let's get to it and talk about Kate's royal style, because it really is still very on uh, on brand for right now. So her dress was Alexander McQueen, and Kate single-handedly brought sleeves back into the forefront of bridal. So as we're heading into, uh, like, spring 2022 gowns have just been released, and we're seeing every kind of sleeve from, you know, the classic Kate tailored lace sleeve to cap sleeves, blouson sleeves. I mean, this dress is actually Kate's dress in 2022. So it's really incredible. And her bouquet is actually bang on as well. Right. And because before then, everything was strapless, right? Yes, everything was strapless. So brides around the world really did thank Kate for the sleeves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought when she got out of the limo. I'm like, oh, sleeves are back. <laughs> I know. Uh, another thing we need to talk about is lace. Lace is, of course, a classic bridal fabric, but Kate really brought that back to the forefront. It was a handcrafted lace um, by the Royal School of Needlework, which was incredible. This dress, again, is spring 2022. I know we talked about this dress, Annette. It's Jimmy Choo, actually, and it's incredible. So mm -hmm. the bottom. And everything has the Victorian elements that Kate had. And um, again, very relevant, very, very on brand. Again, a very Kate dress. This is for fall uh, upcoming. And the lace and the sleeves, they are just here to stay for a long time. Which is good to see. And then her veil. She had a very, very long veil, which we hadn't seen in ages. She did. And I mean, you know, it, it adds the drama. We're always behind the veil. Um, it was the veil and the train. It made the ultra romantic look and it really finished the fashion look and uh, was a perfect accessory to her jewelry, which she also started some trends with. I mean, what do you accessorize the world's most famous engagement ring with? Uh, so Kate did that beautifully and I just, you know, I brought some inspo because we love the jewelry in it. So I brought some beautiful Kate inspired rings. This is, uh, of course, a sapphire from Michael Hill. Very Kate, very on brand. Oval is a super hot trend for now. Um, a little bit of a periwinkle setting, very much like Kate. And Kate's earrings were custom made by her family uh, in a Middleton inspired crest. Diamond drops, really beautiful. And she really brought... Um, non-costume jewelry back and fine jewelry back. So these little guys, just a little bit of sparkle, beautiful accessory to her high collar and Victorian style. And, you know, all of these things are still very on brand today. Um, where She really reignited the colored gemstone and the fine jewelry trend. Right. And then she made a move to with the uh, the bouquet that she held because it was very small. It was very subtle. And before then, right, we were seeing everything packed. And, and we, like I remember for my first wedding, I had an enormous bouquet. It overpowered yeah. me. This bouquet, if we can see it, I'm just, uh, uh, it smells amazing. It's Lily of the Valley, uh, Snowberry Botanicals, a great florist made this for us this morning. And, you know, it was a tiny bouquet that had the ever present and very important sprig of myrtle in it that all royal brides carry. And, you know, Kate really brought that elegant, very English feeling, spring-like, beautiful contained bouquet back. Now we've seen the kind of bouquets go big, We've seen dried flowers now, and I think we're seeing a return to a little bit of minimalism as you know people are moving forward with micro weddings and everything. So Kate really nailed her style. 10 years later, I can't believe that it's been that long, but looking back on it, it is still absolutely fresh. And of course, we can't leave out Pippa because she really uh, made headlines almost overshadowing Kate at times. Yes. <laughs> bridesmaid's dress. Um, became iconic as well. That was always a no-no, but now so many bridal parties go white and I think it looks amazing. Right, I wanna get back to the myrtle. We've got about 40 seconds left. I didn't know that it was used in every bouquet. It smells lovely if you haven't had it. It does, it's like, a, it's a royal tradition and um, I love it because it's like, you know, just that little sprig of greenery. And I love that uh, my florist Crystal, like she was right on it and she's like, I didn't forget the myrtle um, because it's very important. So yes, all royal brides have had that. You can check that fact out. It's really interesting history behind it. Okay, it's great looking back 10 years just to see that. Great chatting with you as well. Great to Wedding see you. Wedding expert, Allison McGill. Thank you.